of searching through endless folders for company information, I've got a tool that keeps everything organized and accessible. Stick around, I'm gonna show you. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. Today, we are diving into Connect Team's knowledge base feature, a central hub for all your company's information. They're sponsoring this video, but I'm sharing it because I think this is an essential tool for keeping your team informed and efficient. Let's start with how it works and setting it up. To get started with the knowledge base, you're gonna click add new, and then under communication, you're gonna see knowledge base as an app that you can add to your Connect Team base. They've got a great little video here that will give you a sense of what you can expect, but I'm also gonna show you that in this video. Since Connect Team is free to get started and free for teams up to 10, I recommend hopping into Connect Team for yourself, which you can do alongside this video. We'll give our knowledge base a name like that and we'll click confirm when we're ready. Next to adding section folders to structure your knowledge base, plan how you wanna organize this. Then click the add folder button, name your section, something like company protocols could work well. I'll go ahead and do that right now. Select add folder, and this folder will be called company protocols. One of the things I love in Connect Team is that you can preview how it looks on mobile, not just here in the knowledge base, but throughout the app. Remembering that the majority of your employees are gonna see this on their mobile phones. Obviously here, I would continue to build out folders and I have the option to save this as a template if it's something that I wanna use later. And since we're talking about folders, note that you can actually add a subfolder like this. When we're ready, we'll click save. Next, we'll decide who we wanna publish our knowledge base to. This first option uses smart groups, which publishes to current and future users that match specific group rules set. Smart groups publish to current and future users that match the group's rule set, or if we want, we can select those users manually. I love how smart groups function, so I'm gonna preview for you how that looks. The default setting will be all user groups, but check this out. If we build out our Connect Team user base by groups, we can easily select those here. I'll leave this on for the demo. Next, we can publish now or schedule publish. We can notify employees via push notification about this new knowledge base. And you'll spot here some additional settings, whether it's posted by the admin, that's me, or company-wide, sending a reminder and scheduling a removal, if it makes sense for it to expire after a certain time. Just like that, our assets are ready to go and I'll click confirm. And once my employees start to consume the content here in the knowledge base, I'm gonna be able to track overall statistics. Things like how many employees viewed this file, views in the past month, and if I want, I can get very specific granular at a per employee level with last viewed and total views, which is awesome. Now start filling your folders with content. You can add text, links, files, and even more folders. Just enter the folder, click add, and choose the type of content that you need. Like this, I'll quickly demo each content type starting with text, Maybe this is something you're starting from scratch, or in many cases, you might be pasting it over from a different source. Maybe a Word document or Google Docs or something like that. The joy of doing this in Connect Team means that you have everything in one place. In fact, there's a good chance you can get rid of a ton of subscriptions separately that you already have and are paying more money for because Connect Team has a solution for so many different things, more than just a knowledge base. When it comes to formatting, I can get fancy here with links, photos, even tables and the standard formatting options. At no point does it become overwhelming to use, but Connect Team keeps things simple and stays easily adaptable for your business. We've added folders, we've added text, now let's look at a link. Easy, just like that. And finally, let's add a file, which in this example is gonna be a welcome letter in the form of a PDF. When selected, I can preview it here on the right-hand side in mobile preview. And when I'm ready, I'll click save. It's really that easy. Worried about finding information later? Connect Team's powerful search bar lets you find anything quickly. Just type a keyword and all the relevant documents will appear. Now hopping over to the app, which is how your employees are gonna be interacting with Connect Team. We'll select the knowledge base. And there we go. We see some files, including one more that I've added, which is a PNG a floor plan. Now it might look unassuming, but this search bar at the top is actually very powerful. We can quickly filter and find content based on keyword, which by the way is not just based on the file name, but it also scans the content contained in all of these files. For example, keyword that I pulled quickly from this introduction to the company letter. I have no doubt that your employees are gonna find exactly what they need using this very powerful search feature. And before we look at some industry examples, might I also recommend for you to customize this knowledge base however you want. You can even change the name, icon, or the color. And 
click save. You can even have multiple knowledge bases for different departments or topics, giving you complete control over how information in your company is organized. Now, I want to pivot slightly and talk a little bit about communication. We'll come back to the knowledge base in a moment with some examples. But here under communication, under this category, I want to add this category called updates. I think this fits perfectly with the knowledge base. This is a way in which you can communicate urgent updates or even things that are more celebratory, which you'll see in a moment. Like in Connect Team, we can start from scratch or we can use a template. I like to showcase using a template, again, here on the right hand side, we can see an example. Now there's all different types of updates you might want to send your team or non-desk workforce. Let's pick something maybe more serious. Once again, we're starting from a template here, so we can just choose something as a starting point. You're seeing lots of different options. Something serious could be this CEO weekly announcement, and this could be a reoccurring update. But we could also do something fun, like happy birthday, with this great little animation. I think it makes for a fun demo, so I'm gonna select this template, and then we can begin customizing it however we like, however fits and feels on brand. Adding attachments like images, videos, GIFs, and files, and more, YouTube videos even. We've got an optional title here that we can add and you can begin adding and customizing text here until you're content with what you've got. We'll click next. And now Connecting gives you the option to decide who is gonna receive this update. So the default here is smart groups. I like this setting dynamic, which is current and future group members. I could switch it to fixed if I only want current group members, but I like this idea of dynamic in case my team grows in the future. If I only wanted to send this to a handful of people or even just one or two people, I could specify them here, but I'll leave that setting. We'll select next. And then we've got an array of publishing options, publish now or schedule it in the future. If I wanna make this a push notification, I can. I can post it as me, the admin, or I could post it as me, the company. I could even make it the pop-up when launching the app. And again, for those serious and critical updates, I could require confirmation, allow users to like and comment, and even schedule removal from the app if this is something temporary. Lots of options, which we love in Connect Team. I'll select next, and when we're ready, we'll confirm it. Now let's hop over to the app to see how it looks. And have a look at this now from the perspective of an employee. I see that push notification, which I'll select right now. It's gonna go ahead and open the app, and I'm gonna be able to view that update right away. I love this little spinning animation. I can like, I can comment, and interact with it here since I had that setting turned on. Now, hopping back over to the admin dashboard quickly, that engagement that I just made is visible here as one single reaction. But since I've got four team members, I can see that only one of four team members viewed the update. And if I wanna drill down specifically who's seen it and who hasn't, I have all of that information here, including the view date. So you can see here that even though Connect Team is super easy to use and navigate, the information is granular, detailed, and specific, even the ability to export this and download it if I need it. The updates feature really goes hand in hand with the knowledge base. One more that I wanna show you, which is this chat feature. You can see I've already got a few chats in the works. I can also start channels with my team if I want and manage all of those settings right here. It's common for organizations, businesses, startups to have tools like Slack, but with Connect Team, you don't need that. The knowledge base, the updates, the chat feature, there's so, so much here that will likely mean that you can cancel some of those subscriptions that you've already got and save some money. Let's see how various industries are using Connect Team's knowledge base. Starting with Let's Sushi, a sushi restaurant in Denmark with over 200 employees. They needed to improve employee engagement, communication, and training processes, and they did exactly that. How with digital resources, creating a comprehensive digital knowledge hub with resources like health and safety regulations, recipes, hygiene control checklists, and training materials. They also use Connect Team's chat feature to improve real-time communication between employees and management. Finally, operational efficiency. So they were able to digitize day-to-day -day operations, including opening and closing checklists, which improved efficiency and oversight. This is a great case study if you're curious to learn more about how other companies are using this feature. And in a totally different industry, ESP pros, which is security with over 100 employees. Some of their key challenges were managing a growing business with the need for real-time communication, 
onboarding and training issues and inefficiencies in traditional training methods. Well, the knowledge base for them created a centralized digital hub to store and share important company policies, training manuals, and resources. I'm gonna to link to this interview with Clayton Taylor, the CEO, as well as Byron Hall, the head of security for ESP Pros, where they talk about this in more detail. It's a great watch. And lastly, in terms of additional resources for you specifically for the knowledge base, I'm gonna to link to this starting guide by Connect Team officially, which covers all the steps in even more detail than I have in this video on creating your knowledge base. If you have a question or you want to follow this step by step, there's a good chance you can hop over here and this is going to answer those questions for you. Definitely check it out. That's how Connect Team's knowledge base can keep your team organized and informed from activating the feature to adding content and using the search function. It's all about making your company's information easily accessible. Start with a free trial, by the way, to see how this can streamline your operations. And remember, Connect Team is free for teams up to 10. It doesn't get better than that. If you've got any lingering questions, let me know. Comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. Respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Thank you, Connect Team, for sponsoring this video. Next, I'm sharing a few others I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching those coming up next.